What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial of how to use the concatenate formula in your Airtable bases. I'm going to show you the ins and outs of using this with all different kinds of field types and different kinds of like, so text, string, numbers, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope this is super valuable. If you haven't met myself yet, my name is Ben Green and I'm the owner of Optimize IS and I help business owners probably just like you, help them optimize their processes, build out their systems and especially their systems in like Airtable, Asana, Slack, and that kind of stuff. So if you are interested in getting help, go ahead and click the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so now getting started, we're just gonna add a quick field, a quick formula field so that we can see this in play. So we're just gonna insert one to the right of our primary field here. And we'll go down to formula and say concatenate. And then we'll just, I think this one's already a concatenate field, so we'll just reference that for now. But I do want to talk about this. So if you click in this like first part of this formula here, you can see the different operators that this function requires. So for this one, it's just text one is required. And then you have the optional text two and so on and so forth. So you can have as many text strings as you want and really just put them together there. So. We'll just create that for now and I'll sort of show you how this works. So once you create your function, you're going to want to name it. So this is going to be tutorial because we're going to create a few different formulas in here. So I first want to show you how this field is created. So this one is a concatenate and it puts together, it looks like three text strings technically, but you would recognize this as two. So the first one and then it separated by a dash, but that dash is also a text string. So we can see the second text string is this type field right here. And then the first one is this opportunity field right here. So to create that, you come back in here and custom click on the banner, click customize field type, double click on what you already put in there. And so this is what you have. So if you just type in the function, this is what you'll have right here. And to start out, we're gonna do the opportunity, I think is what it, yeah. So the opportunity, that's all you need. You just reference that field, just type it in just like that, and then put a comma in there. And every time for every different record, it's gonna put that dynamic data in there from the that specific record, and it's gonna be really valuable for you. You can also put static text. So that's what's called dynamic text. Static text will be the same every single time, no, mat no matter the record. So we will put static text of that, maybe just two of them. And then we will put that in quotes because it has to be in quotes so that Airtable recognizes this in the formula as a text string. And then we put another comma. And we want to separate these by commas because we're separating different text strings. If this was all one static text string, then we could put it all in there. But because it pulls it from multiple different sources, aka multiple different fields, we have to separate it by commas, comma separated values. So this last one we will type is type. And all you have to do is just reference it like that. And you can see this as a single select field, but this is also just text. It's a text field. And so if we click save, we should have something that looks very similar. Yes. So you can see it's the same thing, except the dash doesn't have, I don't know exactly how that dash is in there, but this looks pretty much the same as that. I also want to show you can do dates. We can continue this and include the date and time field. One thing to note is that when you pull in dates, this doesn't look very pretty. So what you want to do, if you ever include a date, is you want to use the date time parse field, or no, date time format field, and select that, and then delete that, put that right there. And then we're gonna go cl click on this, and I'll show you this real fast. So you just reference the date time, and then you do use the format string. So we will do a comma, and then this is a this is my popular one. So we will try that. Move that parentheses there and see what that looks like. So that's okay, it's not ideal. Um, so we want something in between this daytime format and the type. So we will put another comma there and then click in between the commas and put that text again and then put another quote there and then save it. And so now you can see we have this sort of 
better data in here with this date so it's not like that super long text and we will make this more intuitive by changing these to backslashes. So that's how you use dates in the concatenate field. If you're referencing like a date and time field like this, whether it's like last modified created time or just a date picker um, with the time or without the time, it's gonna give you that really long string. So you just wanna use that date time format function while you're using the concatenate field. Another field you might want to pull in is an array. And so an array is, for example, is this lookup field right here, pulling in from the contact table, but it has comma separated values in here. So we can also pull that in. If we go back in here and edit this, we would just add another operator. And so we'll put that dash in there to create the space. And then we will add this lookup field. So I want to make sure I have the right one. So I'll delete that. So we're doing email from contact. And we will just put that in here by typing a comma and then email from contact. So as you can see, it pulls together these two text strings and it takes out the commas. So if you do want those commas in there, then what I would do is I would put an array join in here. And then if you look at the array join function, you can see array join you reference the field and then you put a comma and then you put the separator. So we will put a comma in here and then the separator. And save that and see, uh, yep, that's perfect. So we have this email comma and this email separated by the comma space. So that's how you pull in the array. That's how you pull in the date. That's how you pull in regular text. Um, that's really it. Now you should be able to create your own concatenate function and pull in the static text, dynamic text, the any of the date fields, and also the lookup fields with those arrays. So if you have any other questions, it's pretty simple with the linked records as well with that array join or just with static text if it's limited to one. And yeah, so I hope this was really helpful. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. And also, if you need help with your Airtable and setting up your systems, then go ahead and click that link in the description and request a consultation. But, but if not, then throw a comment in there and say how this was helpful and watch another video for more Airtable tutorials.